Ninophthalmos is a rare birth condition where one or both eyes don't grow to their full size during fetal development. Unlike microphthalmos, where there may be other structural anomalies, nenophthalmos refers specifically to the size of the eye, meaning despite being small, all eye structures are intact. The exact cause of ninophthalmos isn't fully understood, though it appears to be linked to genetic changes that interfere with eye development. One of the most important measurements here is the axial length, which is the distance from the front to the back of the eye. Axial length plays a major role in how well the eye focuses light onto the retina, which is essential to see clearly. Imagine the retina as the screen in a movie theater, and the lens of the eye as the projector. If the projector is too close or too far from the screen, the image will end up looking blurry or out of focus. In nenophthalmos, the axial length of the eye is too short, which means light focuses behind the retina instead of on it. This leads to farsightedness, also called hyperopia, where nearby objects look blurry, while distant ones may still be clear. Because the eye is smaller, the anterior chamber, or the space at the front of the eye where fluid normally drains, is shallow and tight. This poor drainage makes it easier for pressure to build up inside the eye, increasing the risk of glaucoma, particularly a type called angle closure glaucoma. As pressure within the eye rises, it first damages the edges of the optic nerve, leading to loss of peripheral vision. Over time, if not treated, it can also affect central vision and lead to permanent vision loss. Another possible complication is serous retinal detachment, where fluid builds up between the retinal layers, causing them to peel away from the underlying layer of support tissue. This type of retinal detachment can cause blurry or distorted vision, like straight lines appearing wavy, or a dark spot in the visual field. Diagnosis of nenophthalmos starts with a history and physical assessment, specifically a complete eye exam. This includes checking visual acuity, using a slit lamp to look at the anterior chamber of the eye, and examining the retina. Additional testing may include optical biometry, which is used to measure the length of the eye, as well as optical coherence tomography scan, or OCT for short. OCT is especially useful to detect retinal anomalies, as it allows clinicians to get a cross-sectional view of the retina much like slicing a cake to see the inside layers. Treatment of nenophthalmos focuses on correcting vision problems and preventing complications. Because farsightedness is often severe, people with nenophthalmos usually need strong prescription glasses or contact lenses to see clearly. In addition, regular checkups are recommended to detect glaucoma in early stages. If glaucoma develops, it may be managed with eye drops, laser therapy, or surgery. If there is a risk of fluid buildup inside the eye or retinal detachment, surgery may be needed to restore vision. Because the eyes are unusually small, any surgery should be done by an experienced surgeon, as the risk of complications is higher than usual. Alright, as a quick recap. Nenophthalmos is a rare condition where the eyes are smaller than usual, but otherwise structurally normal. It's caused by genetic changes that affect how the eye develops. People with nenophthalmos often have severe farsightedness and are at high risk for complications like angle closure glaucoma and retinal detachment. Treatment focuses on correcting vision with glasses or contact lenses and managing or preventing complications. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.